Well, let's first understand what is a problem and what problem Spring Cloud Config Server solves. Consider in our microservices project, we have multiple microservices. For example, let's say a microservice 1 and then microservice 2 and then microservice 3 and so on. Okay. And in order to scale our microservice project, we basically start multiple instances of each microservice. For example, let's say we want to scale microservice 1 then we will start the multiple instances of microservice 1. For example, let's say instance 1 and instance 2 and so on. Okay. And each microservice has a configuration files. It contains the microservice level configurations. For example, let's say microservice 1 has the configuration file. And similarly, microservice 2 has a configuration file. Microservice 3 has a configuration file. And consider we have a requirement to update the configuration file of microservice 1. Then what we need to do is we need to restart microservice 1 as well as its instances. Alright. So this is not a good idea. Each and every time whenever we update the configuration file, we need to restart the microservice as well as its instances. This is the problem Spring Cloud Config Server addresses. If we use Spring Cloud Config Server, then we no need to restart the microservice and its instances whenever we change the its configuration file. Okay, so first problem restart. Okay, so if we use Spring Cloud Config Server, then we no need to restart the microservice and its instances whenever we change the configuration file. So this is the problem the Spring Cloud Config Server solves. Next, we can use Spring Cloud Config Server to externalize the configuration files of each and every microservices. Right now, each and every microservice has a configuration file in its projects itself, right? So we can use Spring Cloud Config Server to externalize all the configuration files of all the microservices in a central repository or a central place. For example, let's say Git repository. All right, so if we place all the configuration files of all the microservices in a central repository then we no need to go into each and every microservice to change that configuration file right so whenever there is a requirement to change a project specific configuration file then we, we can simply change in a git repository so that it will get reflect in the that particular microservice we don't need to dig into that microservice and you know change the, that configuration file all right, so this is the problem also Spring Cloud Config Server addresses. So these are the two major advantages of Spring Cloud Config Server. First one is whenever we change the configuration file of that microservice, then we no need to restart that microservice as well as its instances. Second advantage is like we can externalize all the configuration files of all the microservices in a central place. So that whenever we have a requirement to change a project specific file, then we can simply go ahead and change in a, that central place. We no need to go into that particular microservice and change the configuration file. We can simply change at a central place. Okay, so these are the main advantages that, you know, Spring Cloud Config Server provides. Alright, great.